Arkadiusz Mularczyk, MP, presented a report on the work of the same Foreign Affairs Committee. Today, we are focusing on a draft resolution that will give the Polish government a mandate to undertake political and diplomatic activities. The document does not supplement the resolution adopted in 2004, but is to serve as another tool for making claims for damages. With regard to people, the atrocities of the German occupation concerned various forms of enslavement, forced labor, child robbery, mutilation, rape, murder, and annihilation of children, women and men, citizens of the Republic of Poland, as well as covering up the traces of genocide and war crimes. The document emphasizes that the Republic of Poland has never received compensation for personal and material losses caused by the German state. The same of the Republic of Poland declares that the duly represented Polish state has never waived its claims against the German state. There is no moral or legal basis for claiming that these claims have been legally withdrawn or time-barred. The harm to millions of Poles will scream until it is justly repaired. Separate proposals have been submitted by the Polish coalition PSL and Civic Platform. The People's Party does not reject the resolution authored by the Law and Justice Party, but expects a timetable for diplomatic action to be presented. It should not be forgotten that the issue of settling these reparations depends solely on the will and decision of the German state. We must influence the state, its government. In turn, the civic platform, which has changed its position on the claims for reparations in recent weeks, now wants to include claims against Russia in the document. Our proposal includes that part of the reparations from Germany, which the Soviet Union owed us and did not pay. According to government representatives, the Civic Platform Act would delay the entire process of applying for reparations. As Deputy Foreign Minister Shimon Shinkovsky Velsenk indicates, only the political unity of all parties will bring the expected results. This will provide another powerful tool for the Polish government in the process of pursuing claims in the reparation process. Currently, the government is preparing a special diplomatic note to Germany, demanding reparations. We will, of course, run a propaganda campaign not only in Germany, but also in Europe and all over the world. We will make this into something that should give the Germans food for thought and make them at some point enter discussions. In the report on war losses, which was published on September 1st, it was estimated that the damage suffered by Poland as a result of aggression and German occupation amounted to over 6 billion złoty. In the times of the Polish People's Republic, it was impossible to try for it. The Third Republic of Poland was also difficult. Such a team that cares has emerged. This has to be appreciated. But the matter has to be brought to a conclusion. A political statement is important. A three-volume report is important. There's a lot of facts, enormous knowledge. The report was translated into several languages and sent to the German embassy. In the relations of the 21st century, where we are building a world of values, democracy, justice, respect. Reparations are also an opportunity for Germany to settle accounts with the heritage of World War II in a material and real way and close the matter of World War II once and for all. Similar demands for reparation against Germany are made by Greece. While last year Germany decided to pay compensation to Namibia for the crimes committed in 1904 to 1907.